Hi, welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Monday, May 17th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is, is an invitation to pause in your day, to just be still in the presence of God, to know that God loves you and cares for you and calls you by name. Each time we come together, we've been reading through the Gospel of Mark, and we are up to Mark 6, verses 14 through 29. It's an odd, odd story. Herod hears about the mission of, of the twelve apostles, and a discussion starts. And... Mark uses that thing that Mark uses, where he starts one story, inserts another, and then comes back to, this, to his ending story. In this case, um, he starts out with a discussion about who is Jesus, who is this guy, and that some are saying he's a prophet, and some are saying he might be the Messiah, and some are saying he's John, come back to life. And Herod says, well, he's John, come back to life. And then we get the story of how John was beheaded and we hear this story about um, John criticizing Herod because he married his brother's wife and his his wife Herod's wife um, gets quite upset with John and, and wants to get rid of him John's arrested and he's in prison and during a party his wife's Herodias daughter dances. The dance pleases Herod so much that he says, ask me for anything up to half of my kingdom and I will give it to you. And she turns to her mother and says, what should I ask for? And her mother says, well, ask for the head of John the Baptist. And indeed, that is what she does. And because he made an oath in front of everyone Although he doesn't want to do it because he's afraid of John. John's a righteous man. He's been protecting him somewhat, even though he's in prison. He has to do it. And we learn that's what happened and how it happened. You know, the two, the story is in many ways what the interpreters think of it as a is a foreshadowing of what's going to come for Jesus a powerful leader Pilate or Herod um, is very interested in a prophet or um, Jesus or John and there are those who want them dead the, pro the Jesus or John and they wind up forced to do that and then there is the word of the resurrection. Of course, with John, it's, you know, this is just Jesus is John raised, but the word for Jesus is that he is raised. And um, it's something for us to consider. You know, what what is power and what does power give us? Um, what do we really seek? We seek to be who God called us to be and who God intends for us to be. So if you haven't already done so, I invite you to go to a quiet place in your house and close the door and close your eyes. The verse that I decided to focus on for today is, but when Her Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. Take some deep breaths, and as you do so, breathe in the breath of God, and breathe out all that separates you from God. Breathe in the breath of life, and breathe out all that does not give you life. Breathe in God's peace, and breathe out all of your worries and fears and anxieties. Continue to breathe deeply. And 
allow the peace of God to spread over your whole body. Imagine it like water that runs down over your head and face, and as it does so, your mind is calmed. And all the things that have been bouncing around are stilled. And your face is relaxed. Your brow unfurrows, your jaw relaxes, and you smile. your neck it runs down over your neck and the tensions in your neck are released and if there was pain the pain is eased it runs down over your shoulders and your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers and if your hands have been closed they are open now and they're turned palm upward to receive God's grace and love and peace It runs down over your chest and your breathing gets deep and calm. And your heart rate slows to a calm and peaceful rate. It runs down over your belly. And all the jitters that have been in your belly are calm. It runs down your back and the muscles in your back are relaxed and the burdens that you've been carrying are set aside. It runs down over your thighs and your knees and your calves and your feet and they are renewed and refreshed. And in your mind's eye, go to a garden where you can hear the sound of water running. Maybe it's a fountain. It's a quiet garden. No one's there but you, and it's a great place for you to think and relax and meditate. You hear the sound of the water, you can smell it. You can smell the garden all around you. You see all the beautiful colors and you feel the warmth of the sunlight. And you begin to think in that place about all of your life. What, what do you really value and what do you want to do with it and how do you want to live these days and what counts the most along comes a representative of God what does that person look like they speak what's their voice sound like it's a greeting to you They know what you've been thinking about, and so they invite you to talk. And the two of you talk about your life, about the things that you do and the things that you want to do and the things that you feel compelled to do. And you listen for the response of this representative of God. I'll be quiet for a few minutes. And then the time comes for the conversation to end. And the two of you say goodbye in whatever way is appropriate. And you allow that image to fade away. And you bring yourself back to the room where you are. And when you are ready, you open your eyes. The 
let's take a break, take a breath for Monday, May 17th. I'm Rick Boyer. If you have feedback for me, send it to rick at prospectchurch.org.